Hey there! Ultimate Yoshi here! Welcome back to more or less play Bomberman 64. In the last episode, we defeated Artemis, the hunter, um, somehow, and got all gold, five gold cards, and we also did the first stage and got one gold card. Anyways, next, this time we'll be going up to stage three and probably not going to be doing the boss. There's that dock that exploded. Hey there, Cannon! I'm just gonna ignore you, if that's okay. I can't ignore this! There are too many cat... Gold card? Okay! I'll accept it. Doesn't seem I, like I worked for that, though. You'll notice that I'm actually finding gold cards in, like, simple enough areas in this world so far. Even if I only found one, still, it, like, one in the first up level and one in this level, still, they were a lot easier in, in a lot easier locations than that other one I got. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The gold cards in this world seem to be a bit easier to find than the other ones in the other world. The reason for this is not because of any out of order or anything. Like I lied to you and that world is actually the last world, which would make no sense since it's the only world too. Serious is there to tell you stuff. But what else I like? Um... It's actually something kind of unique, and it's the reason why I didn't go back to get the gold cards that I was missing. The, the levels in Green Garden... What I like about them is... You learn a lot of new techniques throughout these other levels, and you, like, get more experience at the game. It feels like the gold cards in Green Garden are designed for you to go back to that world after you've completed the, everything else in the game. Is that Princess Peach? I guess it's not, but it kind of looks like it, in a way. Hi, Sirius. Water used to run from that waterway to that statue of a goddess. I don't think Peach qualifies as a goddess. Altair had the waterway moved, and now the water no longer reaches it. Will you repair the waterway? I guess that's what we need to do for this level. Get out of here. This one, there was something on the other side of the house. Oh well. Like I just said, there's another gold card here. That was easy. Very easy. Um, anyway. It feels like the, the gold cards in Green Gardens are specifically designed for you to go back and collect them after you've beaten the entire rest of the game. And I really like that. Because they're in a lot of clever and hard to reach locations if you don't if you're inexperienced at the game. And it's it's cool and that's why I didn't go back to get them already. I mean I probably could have gotten them, maybe. Then again they are kinda difficult to get to anyway. Oh another one of those things. I never actually did explain that, huh? Oh well, no time like the present, right? Might as well explain that now. Um, in this game's battle mode, which I have, which I'll probably cover in a bonus episode of some sort, with a friend, maybe, since it's 
four player. Um. Um. Those question mark things? Well, in battle mode, you have the ability to customize what your character looks like so that you're not just looking like regular old bomb. The third gold card already? That's all three gold cards for this level. In just... Thanks for respawning, enemy. Now all I need to do is kill a certain amount of enemies and get target time, which I have already failed that way. Um, in Battle Royale, you get the ability to customize what your character looks like. And those question mark things, I believe, are the things that allow you to choose new things for you to look like. Like, they're... They're basically... What is the word for them? They're like things that you can wear. Accessories, that's the word I'm looking for. They're basically battle accessories. I don't ever really remember picking any up. Maybe it's... You can get them in a save file even if... Um, they've already been collected. But oh well. Ooh! New continue. Yay. Get out of here. Why don't we get red bombs? I don't remember getting red bombs. No cannon there for some reason. Oh wait, haven't we? Yeah, we've been here before. off the edge now. There's another one of them. Huh. Um... What to do? What to do? I like having hearts. Please excuse my not knowing what to do. Hold on. Is this all you really need to do? Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! You stupid fish! You stupid fish! Oh! Oh my god, this really is all you need to freaking do! Blow this thing backwards! There we go. Oh, I see! There we go! There we go! That was not so bad. I'll just carry this bomb with me. For a second there, I didn't realize that it, the stage was over, so I thought it just exploded. Um. Um. Well, that was a fast enough stage. You know what? I'll try the boss. It's a thing. It's 
It's a thing! Meet Sewer Savage. I believe this thing's called Leviathan, actually. Eh. Eh. Got a gold card already by destroying its angler. Cut our board in half. Oops. You're supposed to move to avoid that. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's try this again. Shall we, Leviathan? Okay. You want to attack his fin there, because a fin is another gold card. I remember stuff about this game, that's cool. I was afraid I might not remember some things. Oh, I heard him. Okay, he's doing... the... fork again. Okay, this time, let's... Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. So now we have a smaller thing. Okay, I got it. Oh, I killed him. I got target time. So that's three. Yay. And I remember what the other two are. Okay, so let's try that again. Except we broke the chain. You are the leader. Goodbye. Alright, let's get back to, into this. Move right, even though we're really going left. Long time no see, Sewer Savage. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. 
when he shakes his butt at me, let's try and not kill him. What? Son of a friggin'. Yes. It's taking some time. I guess that's good. Extending the length of the video. yellow bee eyes of yours, and then shake your butt at me again, please. Come on. Stare at your, with your big bee yellow eyes and shake your butt, shake your butt. Yes, you're shaking your butt. That is a good. So now, I would like you to cut my thing down to size, if you don't mind. Thank you, you're being very cooperative. All I need to do is make sure I live. Now all I need to do is blow him up. What? That didn't kill him? That should have killed him. Right, he's doing this again. No! I might not be able to survive it this time. Honestly, I find it lucky enough that I was able to survive it that other time. Whoa. Alright, come on. Mash this button. Mash this button. I need to kill him. Be very careful! Come on! You're not letting me kill you, Leviathan! There we go! Right on time! Good work. Explosion for good measure. Stage cleared. There we go! Five gold cards! And within 20 minutes too! Nice! Nice! Okay, so... Next time on Let's Play Barman 64, we're not quite done here yet in Blue Resort. Unlike with Green Garden, I'm actually going to go back and try and get the rest of these gold cards that I'm missing. So, next time I see you guys, I'll be trying to find the remaining gold cards in this level. And doing the target time as well. And, I'll be doing the same with this level. With just the target time and the enemies. So! See you guys then!